Hello. Well, um, this tutorial is um, an example demonstration of dynamically allocating memory. Ah! Oh! Here is a print chars intent char C int i for i loops into n now n at the moment in the main which we will be coming to later subroutine is set to 5 so it loops 5 times we allocate and 0 an i plus 2 element array of chars Note that size of char is always 1. Here is size of char, which is 1. Here is the element of i plus 2. i is being dynamically allocated via the loop i less than n. As we have stated, n equals 5. So i will be equal 1 plus 2, 2 plus 2, 3 plus 2, 4 plus 2, and finally 5 plus 2, all with a size of 1. This is the command calloc, which is dynamically allocating the memory. If calloc fails via this if logic gate, p error calloc will be called as will break. Now we'll go to 4 j equals i plus 1 j equals 0 j plus plus is allocating c to the string then we're printing off the string in the main loop ok it's all done hand back the memory 3s 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 int main int arg c char r b as you can see we're calling print chars with n loop set to 5 and char set to x actually char is set to command line arg v there we go so now we are going to crit and write quit write then we're going to gcc this baby we get a few warnings because we haven't allocated the right header files if we were to allocate the header files it of standard h input output and standard h lib we would get something like this which is a the loop isn't it fantastic baby just simply fantastic x x x x x x x x x x and finally x x x x x excellent